All right, I think we're live. Hey, everybody. Um, so the uh, Coco Brasso along is tomorrow. And um, I just wanted to get on here live and uh, talk about uh, the pattern because there's some things about daily patterns that I want you to know before you get sewing. Um, so just to start, I'm in the sewing room in our tiny house and we, you probably hear a buzzing in the background. Sorry about that. Um, my husband um, is incubating some quail eggs. So sorry about that. Um, so the Coco Bra Sew Along is going to be uh, starting tomorrow and it'll be um, so June 16th through the 19th. And then um, after that, you'll have the weekend to finish up. Um, and then we will um, announce a winner of the um for the prize on monday so you'll have until monday night to sew up your cocoa bra so um there are some special discounts for this sew along and um i'm trying to see if i can see your comments just hold on just a second nope oh well all right this is just different they, they changed the life on me um so if you don't already have the pattern Jaylee patterns has it on sale this week with the code coco so along so it's just one all one word and if you go in the um, event for the um, so along you'll see that code now something funky is going on with the event the event is not in the events tab so if you go to the main the style of magnolia group that you're in right now and you look on the left hand side you'll see under announcements if you click on announcements you'll see the sew along and then you can um, RSVP to that so I will post um, some important information there and um, so the code will be there so what you want to do is you go on the jaylee.com website and you'll go to the listing the pattern listing for the Coco bra now they sell both paper patterns and PDF patterns so the only the, the pattern that is on sale is the PDF pattern, so make sure you select the PDF pattern, put it in your cart, and then put the code in. Coco Bra, excuse me, Coco So Along. And um, so Jaylee patterns don't go on sale very often, so if you want to sew the pattern, even if you don't want to sew it this week, maybe you don't have time, feel free to um, get the pattern this week while it's on sale. And um, Another thing that's different about their patterns is when you purchase the pattern, you're really purchasing the image of the pattern that you cut out. The instructions are available to anyone online. So if you are just kind of curious about the pattern and how it's constructed, maybe you want to know, like, is this um, a good project for me? Is it too difficult? Oopsies. Um, then you can, you can actually check out the instructions in the pattern listing. And um, where you find the info, uh, the sizing info and the fabric info, that's also not in the download. That would be at the bottom of the pattern listing. And you click on description. So you click on description, and then it'll say 28 sizes included. And right below that, there's a hyperlink with the back of the info on the pattern. So that will tell you your fabric requirements, which is basically like super, super small, right? Because um, it's, it's a sports bra and it's, it has a ton of pattern pieces so you can color block it. So it's really fun to color block. I have several fabrics I'm gonna use for this um, bra, so that's gonna be fun. Um, also, like I said, they have 28 sizes included, so all of the girls' sizes and the ladies' sizes are included. They have a girls' size 2, it fits like a 21 inch bust size, and then the women's sizing goes all the way up to 51 inches. And I really like that because um, I am like smack dab in between the girls' sizing and the women's sizing, so um, that means that I can get a really good fit. And um, they don't have like... Um, very big jumps between pattern sizes so that means that you, you can get a really good fit with the pattern um so um let's talk about fabric what you're all interested in 
um, you're going to need a 50% stretch knit in the lengthwise and in the widthwise, and you need good recovery. So, for example, this is the Italian recycled Italian Energia Atletica, and I speak Spanish, and so I don't know how to speak Italian, so there you go, <laughs> in the wrong accent. But um, so this is what good recovery is: is when you stretch it, it like goes right back because it has a high amount of spandex. Um, I'm not sure if this has 10 or 15 percent stretch, but it has a good amount of lycra in it, and that will mean that your bra will keep its shape. Um, and I cannot see your comments right now, so um, I will make sure to go back and look at them later. Um, but I'm sure, Tara, if you're there, if you can answer any questions, that would be great. Um, so I'm going to be using um, Athletic Brush Polyester from the shop. This is really exciting, guys. This is for our round 15, I think it is. And this is the anemone print that I love. So there's a little sneak peek for you. Um, and I like the ABP because it's really soft. Supplex is also a good choice for this pattern. Um, like I said, the I'm going to be using the um, recycled Italian Energia um, for the color blocking. And um, you can also use swim. So you know it's summertime. You're getting outside in the water. You could use this bra um, as a swim top if you wanted to. You wouldn't even have to change the sizing on it. Um, the last thing you're going to need, as far as fabric is concerned, is some swim lining or lining. Doesn't have to be swim lining, but that's what I like to use because I have a lot of it. Um, and it, the most important thing is that it's really thin. You don't want anything really thick because I have, I have two layers of lining. I have the layer on top and I put my little wafer in there. And um, some people need more support. If you need more support, you can use PowerNet for um, the inner lining. Um, darn, I wish the, wish the comments were working for me. I would totally want to hear what you guys have to say about where to find PowerNet because I found it at Joann's but I don't really know if it is um, good quality there because I'm pretty small busted. I don't really need PowerNet, um, but I'm sure there are some of you out there who have an opinion on that. So please comment and share um, where you like to find that material. Um, and the last two things you'll need is elastic. This pattern is um, completely lined, which means that when I turn it inside out, all of the seams are enclosed and that that means that the elastic is inside of the bra um, and even the um, bottom band that which is the last part you assemble is like enclosed so it's really really comfortable so it calls for a clear elastic and I have like 10 yards here that's um, all messed up but um, this is a quarter of inch clear elastic you can buy it at like a big box store. I think Dritz has a quarter inch clear elastic. Um, but I like the thinner stuff. This is more like what you'd find, let's say you have like a strapless dress and you, you wanna hang it on a hanger and they have those little, those little loops that you can find inside of, you know, ready to wear garment. That's what this stuff is made of. So I really like it cause it's thin and easy to sew with. Um, you can use some, the thicker Dritz, um, stuff but I think it might be three-eighths of an inch and I believe the pattern calls for a quarter of an inch so this stuff is great oh there's a comment thank you so Michelle says fee fabrics for power net so you could go there if you need power net um trying to think what else oh so there's that elastic band on the bottom if you are making um, a little girl's sports bra then you'll need one inch if you're making adult I think you need about one and a half inch so um, that's usually pretty easy to source both of these are not like uh, the regular quarter of inch elastic that is like really hard to find right now because everyone including myself is making face masks um what else do we need to cover I'm gonna look at my notes here 
Oh, I did want to mention where I get clear elastic is from So Sassy, S-E-O Sassy. Um, they do have like a minimum on there. So um, C. Nicole Arthur says, what would be the second liner layer? So you can, you can use the same thing. Like I use, um, I think this is like a trico. This is just a swim uh, lining. And I use the same for both um, layers because I don't need extra support. This is actually tighter than I would like it to be. And I'll probably size up for the sports bra because I'm just not used to having I just don't like tight things on my body. It runs in my family. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, so if you want to do power net, you can replace the second lining layer with power net. You can just cut that out of power net. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to cover any of those. So we are gonna cover, at least I'm gonna cover the crossover, like. The crossover back is the only version that I've sewn because um, I think it's really cute. <laughs> but there's also the uh, racer back. So this is the crossover and the racer back is view B on the pattern. So I'm, I'm going to make the crossover again. Um, you're welcome to sew either one. And um, one thing about Jaylee pattern instructions that you should be aware of, their pattern instructions are rather brief. So this is an intermediate pattern. Um, you might need a little bit of hand holding. I wish I had had that um, when the pattern came out. But they did create a full tutorial on the crossover um, back. It's located on their blog. And I um, put that in the event. So if you are, if you join the event and you scroll down, you'll be able to see um, that tutorial is linked there. So that tutorial is fabulous. Um, they color blocked each piece so it's easy to tell what they're working with. So I thought that was really helpful. Um, so I did just wanted to show you the inside of the bra one more time because I know it's like, oh, Sometimes it's hard to wrap your head around like what you're trying to sew. So this is the front and um, this is the lining on one side with the two lining layers. This front part kind of goes ac across the front like a V. And when you turn it around, there is, I know it's hard to tell because I've got black. Nope, you're not going to be able to see it. There's a pattern piece right here um, that is just like a small rectangle. And then you have your strap. So the strap goes from here all the way over here to the other side. Um, so I know that like this is this is an intermediate pattern, like I'm not gonna lie. It's I would not recommend it. For beginner beginners, if you've sewn leggings, maybe sewn t-shirt or tank top, I think that you can definitely sew this bra. Um, and I'm here to help you. So let's do it. So I kind of wanted to go over bust adjustments just real briefly. I don't have a really good visual. Maybe I'll try to cut something up for you really quick. Um, I can't really teach bust adjustments in the time that we have. So if you want to learn about bust adjustments, there, there are some really good craftsy classes, sorry, blueprint, which apparently is going away, which is super sad. Um, there are, there are good tutorials online, like everywhere about bust adjustments, but, um, this pattern is drafted for a B cup. Um, I am a double A, so I could benefit from a small bust adjustment. Some of you are a C or larger, so you might want to do, I would say if you're, if you're a C, you might be able to get away with not doing a bust adjustment, but um, if you're D and up, definitely might want to consider doing a bust adjustment. 
and they're not that bad and they help so much. So they help not only with getting the bust area to fit correctly, but they help with the armhole fitting correctly. Um, my problem is that the shape of the armhole um, in regular bras, in regular sports bras, is too curved, so it ends up like cutting me in the armpit. But a lot of you that um, maybe have um, a larger chest have the opposite problem, you have a, a gaping problem. Okay, so I'm going to show you the pattern piece that is the lining. So this is the right side of the lining, this whole piece. Um, ignore this little cutout, that's not going to be on the pattern. So let's say this is our lining piece. This is the piece that we want to alter. We're going to want to alter the lining piece and the center front piece. The part on mine that's striped, see that? That's on the outside of the bra. Those are the only two pieces that you're going to want to alter. So I have marked kind of the apex area um, of the pattern and this is kind of arbitrary. You'll kind of have to put it on you and be like, eh, I think it's right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up a vertical line that intersects with the apex and then I'm going to continue that line towards the armpit. Now the seam allowance for this pattern is a quarter of an inch. So this is kind of, I'm going to show you kind of a cheater, FBA, SBA. I'm going to cut up towards the apex and then I'm going to turn and go towards the armpit, the arm side area. And I'm going to go to, but not through, the seam allowance. So the seam allowance is a quarter of an inch. I've marked that here. Oh, and I cut through it. Got to get some tape. I do that all the time. I hope this is helpful to you, not confusing. Ah, okay. This isn't working. All right, so I'm going to show you here on this manila folder. So we have our lining piece. And it looks like this. This part is a hinge. So you're going to, if you're small busted, you would move this in just a tad like that. And then I only did it slightly. I only did mine like that much. And then you would cut off the bottom and you would need to add back in, um, your side seam. So this isn't going to be super helpful if you don't already know how to do bust adjustments, but if you do, you'll know like this is an area that you can adjust and that will really help. And then you would do the same thing on the other pattern piece that has the center front. And I would do the same thing. I would cut, if this was your pattern piece, it would be folded in half because it's the center front, I would um, cut up here and hinge it over there. So I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully that helps a, lit, a little bit. And um, if I get some time, I will um, make a blog post on that. Um, and then obviously if you are larger busted, you would need to do an FBA. So you'd be hinging, instead of hinging this in inward, like that, you'd be moving it out like that. So it's not a true FBA. To do a true FBA, you'd have to make another line here. But I, I think it's good enough for a sports bra. So um, let me know if you have any questions. 
I will be um, posting each day uh, the things that we need to get done for the day to kind of keep on schedule. And I'll do that through the 19th, and then you'll have a couple days to finish over the weekend. So I hope this was helpful, and um, let us know how it's going, and um, I hope you can follow along. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.